Okay, so we have seen crazy technology in most action movies. And if we look at the Marvel franchise, we have giant aircrafts and helicarriers, for example, that have a really cool technology called retro reflective panels. It's essentially LED screens that show the other side of the vehicle with a camera and project it onto the panels that are around the vehicle itself, making it look like it's invisible or just very, very, very hard to see and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today let's get building okay whilst we get started with this project and let me tell you guys this is a big project i just want to give a quick shout out to the youtube channel wempler because he actually came up with this idea on his channel before me and uh, i kind of saw this video on my feed and said you know what i want to have my own attempt at that so all credits for this idea go to him definitely check him out but for this build i am going a lot bigger with my idea i want to build a nice shape for my plane and to do that i'm using a bunch of hinges and pistons to kind of angle the hue panels to make the bottom of the fuselage around i know it's really technical and it's gonna get very 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 complex very quickly because i'm using this many hinges but this is the best way i thought in my head i should do this and you know what i think i did a pretty good job now, once I finished off like a, a segment, I guess you could say, of the fuselage, I wanted to uh, obviously extend the fuselage, so I just duplicated it a couple times. And by doing that, I had to turn on the complexity mod. Like, I had to turn it up to 3000 because we went straight into complexity town with this. Like, it got ridiculously complex. And you can see by all of those configuration switches, when connecting, it... All you saw on your screen was gray, and then I just lost frames. This is probably the biggest build I've actually ever built in this game. So once I uh, figured out how to shape the tail there, I actually used the same segment of the fuselage, just angled it up. I smacked on those stabilizers from the Rescue Pack DLC and called it a day. So I was done with that part of the build, so I saved it and headed on to working onto the elevators. Now the thing is, I wanted the entire plane to be have the retro reflection panels seen from underneath the build you know what i mean it's like the, not the entire build is covered in these panels because that would be so ridiculously hard and complex i just wanted it to be from underneath so if the plane's flying above you it'll be hard to see because of the because it's above you right you're only looking up there's no need to give the reflection panels on top of the build so once i did that and made the elevators i just kind of just smacked them on the sides so moving on to the wing segment um yeah it's basically the same of what i did with the elevators just enlarged but the thing is this became a problem because this is way bigger than the little elevator so i still had gaps in this i wanted to try and add modular wings and kind of glitch it in there you can see there's a few gaps but you know what can you do at the end of the day that was the best i could do and i stuck it on the plane itself and once i connected it i found out very very quickly that it didn't work it didn't work the weld groups just didn't work i tried different orientations different ways to connect it remove some panels and everything and it still just didn't work so what i ended up doing is you know what we have to have the pixelated look for the wings effectively just change the general shape so i'll turn i turn the whole thing around then i wanted to do a swept wing thing here so that's good and you know what it turned out pretty well it turned out pretty well and to make the final part of this plane, which is the front, the nose, and the cockpit, I obviously just copied the back part of the plane and put it on the front, made it a little shorter, and kind of just messed around with that, uh, with the shape there. Every time I did something new, I always just dropped it back into, like, out of build mode and saw the shape i think that's the best way in building big projects like this or just builds in general if you want to see something form together well and see if the well groups actually work you need to just keep dropping it out of build mode and seeing what works and what doesn't so once i uh kind of figured out the nose and made it a little bit more pointy i guess i then went on to finish the the cockpit and yeah it turned out pretty well as you can see this was a really fun build. Took me almost two hours to do. Actually, over two hours. And we 
finally got there in the end. All I really need to do now is paint it up and actually make it function and fly. So that's what I'm going to do now off camera. Okay, here it is. We are in zero Gs, by the way, because this thing is so heavy. It's over a thousand kg. It has no wings for lift. It flies purely on just space thrusters inside and momentum. So it flies well in like 0.2 Gs, but in normal gravity, it just cannot fly well. So we're going to have to just make that an exception for this video, just purely because this is such a unique design. But yeah, so here it is. I'm going to spawn it in properly now. It's all painted up nicely. I've got for a matte tone and it clangs together pretty nicely and there you can see if we look underneath most of it there's some tiny gaps that i tried my hardest to avoid but this is basically the best i can do this is so good i know it's not the whole thing is covered in the hue panels for the retro reflection mode but the bottom is which is the main thing right this is going to be a high altitude well supposed to be a high altitude flying aircraft where I can use these hue panels to blend in with the skyline and the, the color of the sky, which I haven't programmed just yet, but I just want to show you how it flies. So I got to be careful because my game has crashed several times during this recording already. So <laughs> let's go for 0.3 2 on the gravity. All right, we're going to start dropping and then we can fly. We can fly in low G's. Which is an exception, like I said, for this video because this is such a unique build. But it does function. It's using gyros. And I surprised I even got this far, to be honest. This was one hell of an, an endeavor to do for a project. But I'm so excited to get into making these retro reflective panels actually work. So what I need to do now, let's put, a, let's put ourselves back in zero Gs because I like to be able to just jump into build mode like this in the sky it's really nice and oh boy this is gonna be quite interesting so let's get a, a random gate down let's get an and gate here you know what i left a nice space at the front there there we go so here's our gate let's paint it up really quickly by the way i had to paint this in segments because i found out at this complexity like at this scale the game crashes if i was to select this whole thing and try and paint it my game just crashes it's it's crazy all right now uh oh oh my <laughs> i'm sure you guys could see the amount of things i need to flick here like all of these switches i need to flick and connect to this gate so you know what let's just get to it every single one of these bottom panels oh my god you know what i'm gonna be careful not to select like that's the problem most of this is just the panels but like, I don't want to mess with the hinges because there is a hell of a lot of hinges for this. And it was the best way that I found I could make a rounded fuselage. All right, we're connecting these. This is good. Honestly, I wish there was just a quick, like, select all of a certain block and connect it all because this is ridiculous. No, I didn't mean to deselect it. All right, we've nearly finished the bottom segment. Oh, there we go. Just got most of those in a row there. You, we don't want to miss a single panel because one kink in the armor, and then you know, there's you can see the jet, <laughs> you can see the plane. Thing is, I really like this concept, it's just doing it for form is not. <laughs> is really hard like i've struggled today on this project sure you can make a really blocky build and it's cool logically like functionally but for form it is a terrible idea <laughs> and that is the bottom row complete look i accidentally selected things i shouldn't have selected look like these pistons here okay now we can work on the these panels on the wings and the tail i'm just seeing a lot of gray and green it's making me really dizzy actually don't look at it too long, guys. That is a wing done. We have one more wing to do. Let's do this. All right, that should be connected. So if I put an input in... Uh-oh, uh-oh. I gotta be careful with what I do here. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna quickly save. Quickly save. Let's save the project. There we go. All right, let's grab our block. Right, I'm gonna just put it on uh, one as a toggle. And then... But it will be red because the default color for the panels are red. So there. Whoa! I like how because this is so complex that there's a few frames of the game when they're trying to load the lights are slower than the other ones loading, which gives it like a cool effect, you know, like the panels are booting up. But that's red. That's the wrong color. 
We need to find the right one. And I think I found the right output, which is 0.61 that I found works for me. If anybody else is trying to uh, replicate this, 0.61 on the output going into the hue panels is pretty much the color of the standard default daytime in Trail Makers. So let's give this a test. Here we go. You know what? I want to build up anticipation. Let's start moving. Okay, we're moving. Okay, here we go. Free. Two, one. Retro reflective panels are on. Now you can obviously see it's flawed. There are massive gaps in it. <laughs> There's gaps where the, the angles of the fuselage move. Obviously those two black lines there. But that's really, that's not bad. How far away can I get my camera? Let's go into orbit camera. I actually can't get my camera that far away. So I'm going to have to go into this camera mode. And if I go down here. Oh, right. Yes, I forgot. Shoe panels have a uh, a bit of a problem, too. They they don't register. I'm going to be spotted. Either way, I'm going to be spotted. There's a big silhouette of a plane in the sky. Also, let's not even mention name tags, right? But if I'm close enough and quiet enough. That... If you're not looking, if I put that in the right corner of the screen there, if you're like quick glance of the screen, if you look at the screen for a second and look away, then you barely notice it. So I think this has been kind of a success. And you know what? To improve it more here, I want to save this version really quick. What if I were to change the color of all of the panels to blue to try and match the sky as well? Do a neon. I don't know if this is going to match the, the blue. I think that might be too light but here we're gonna test it anyway okay yeah it's too bright of a blue there we go we've gone for this blue now with the neon on the panels maybe just to fill in the gaps a little bit more oh you know what guys that is not bad that is really not bad i think that looks even better to be honest it looks a little bit more clean nice well we have working retro reflection panels and we're kind of in stealth mode from underneath. So I'm, I'm very happy about the outcome of this. It was a hell of a build project. This actually took way longer than anticipated. But to make this system work on a form scale, to make something look nice and have the retro reflective panels working as well is EW in my eyes. If I go back to the normal version without the uh, neon assist on the uh, panel, so they're all black again. And I spawn it in. If we go to nighttime, is there a pitch black mode? I, I guess that's the darkest you get. Well, obviously, we're, we're way darker than the skyline. We actually do need a light. We need a night style light on here because that's obviously visible. But I mean, that it, that's like the stealthy. You're, but that's a stealthy you're going to get at night too, right? There's uh, You can barely see the plane from this distance. It's right there in the middle of the screen. Let me zoom in. Yeah, there we go. You'll be able to see it more visibly now. But here's the plane. And yeah, so let's see what it looks like with the lights on at night. Wow. <laughs> now I'm just a flying light show. That's essentially what I am right now. It works in the opposite way at night. So lights are on. You want to be invisible? Turn them off. There you go. You're, you're in pitch black. <laughs> well, I say this has been pretty much a success. I think I've reached peak retro reflective panel technology. This is the best we're going to get in terms of what I can do. Who knows what you guys can do? But if you like this build, definitely uh, tell me down below and let me know what else you guys want to see me do in this game. Because, man, this was this was actually a really fun one to do. And whilst you're on it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.